Here I have my uh, homebrew solar panel and it's uh, composed of 24, I think they're 3 by 6 inch cells and uh, as you can see it doesn't have uh, glass or anything like plexiglass over it yet but it they're basically glued down to a wooden board and uh, the wire here is uh, taped I've got to have to find a, a, a better system but it, it does work for now and uh, here's the uh, lead-in wire obviously all this is a temporary setup into the window have uh, 13 volts off the panel and uh, 200 milliamps being consumed charges this bank of ultra capacitors and uh, under bright sun conditions it can put out up to about 2 amps 3 amps short circuit current and uh, from here the wire goes to the input of the uh, Yesu FT857 here You see it, it it's working here. Twelve point one volts. Let's switch it over to the dummy load. Okay, it's on the uh, dummy load. KF7 PCL testing 1-2-3-3-2-1 Kilo Fox 7 Papa Charlie Lima You can see it is transmitting Voltage drops a little but the uh, ultra capacitors hold it up pretty well so this this is a viable system it just uh, it only works when the sun's out but uh, it's a battery-less solar system, so it proves it can be done. And uh, if I, uh, for example, upgrade the ultra capacitors up to something like uh, 2700 farad ones, it would last a lot longer, even after the sun goes down. And uh, I could probably transmit 100 watts, because right now I have the radio power turned down.